Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Bicious RV, and today we're going to be taking a look at five of my personal favorite bunkhouses that I got to see over this past year stomping around our different sister stores in all kinds of different weather conditions taking a look at these. Uh, sometimes it's because I, I just find the RV is just extremely functional. Sometimes it's because I can see my family using it, and sometimes it's because it just has a wacky or weird or different feature, and I get tired of seeing the same things every day. So when I see something new and different and exciting, I, I gravitate toward it. Now, we're going to see a lot of information in a very quick series of formats today uh, where you're going to see an introduction to uh, a handful of different models and if you see something that you'd like to learn more about take a look at the links in the video description I have a full long-form video on every single one of these let's get started Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan with the 4750 pound Chafe Flight 264 BH and if that little intro sounds familiar it's because not terribly long ago we had one of these come through that was in their cottage decor, which is like the brown on brown. Today we're going to get a look at an SLX first, the modern farmhouse decor. This, it, the, the lighter, brighter interior on these has never been available in these before. And I would really like it if you take a look at this video, take a look at our other 264 video. I'll leave a link for you in the video description. And on either one or both or whatever, let me know which interior decor you like and why. Now, I also stumbled into something I'm really glad I found on this uh, video. The, uh, the first one that we recorded did not have easy lift bed struts, which this one does. I have since discovered that was an unintended miss on the first one that we're getting replaced through our common warranty practices. So I am very glad to report that this video supersedes the lack of gas struts found on our first copy of this footage. Now, if you've never had a camper, I don't care if you're alone, if you have a family, uh, if there's just a pair of you, this is maybe potentially the very best starter camper I've ever seen. And I, I feel it's one of those things like the hair club for men. I, I'm uh, not just the president, I'm also a client. I don't just make stupid camping videos because I think they're fun. I actually go camping and I do it in a 264 bunkhouse. Now, it's not as new as this one. It doesn't have all the cool upgrades this one has. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting serious jealousy vibes on this thing. This camper's awesome. The Energizer Bunny. It just keeps going and going and going and going. It, it goes about 38 feet, eight inches. <laughs> Well, welcome to Halo RV, everybody. Josh the RV Nerd here with our very first Heritage Glen travel trailer we've ever been able to get into our new RV lineup. And uh, doesn't disappoint. This thing, it's its large. We are not in half ton country over here. It's just about 9,200 pounds dry weight. It is long, tip to tail, 38 feet, 8 inches. So you're definitely in a three quarter ton and up range on this. Or give us a call. Maybe you don't even have a tow vehicle. We can deliver this and park it at a destination for you. You don't even have to ever hitch up to this thing. We can get hitched without you getting hitched up. How about that? <laughs> um, this is a very similar floor plan to something that we actually carry in the Keystone Cougar, but they did a couple things significantly differently, and that's what I like about having so many options at Halid RV. Like, maybe you like a floor plan, but you want a couple things a little different. Like, this one, uh, it has all the windows on the door side, just like that similar Cougar I mentioned, but it has a bigger camp kitchen at the expense of having three bunks in the bunk room instead of four, but... This is a, we'll say triple bed bunkhouse that can still sleep for people back there. And you'll see what I mean when we get back there. This thing is crafty, it is cool, it is versatile, it is flexible. It could be an office, it doesn't have to be a bunkhouse. This could be a lot of different things. It also has a flip flop living room in comparison to that Cougar. And if I'm being real with you, I, I, like, I like Cougars. I am sweet on Cougars. That was not intended to be a pun. Um, I think I, prefer the layout of this living room. I don't normally say things like that. I like how this one's put together. Remember when I got the very first prototype of this one? I said when I got a full production version, I'd get you a full video? Well, guess what, baby? Today's the day. Or, if you missed it the first time around, this is your first time seeing it. Hi everybody, my name's Josh. Welcome to Bish's RV. This is the 30 BHS Cougar. This is the model, uh, the, the most obvious way to describe it is a bunkhouse certainly, but it is a multi-function cargo bunkhouse that actually has a couple's camping floor plan with some bunks added to the back, but the bottom bunk can flip up and move bunk, get out the way and create a big cargo space. And I think that could be really cool. Not even if you're just hauling a family, but what if you're like, listen, 
I don't want to haul my expensive cargo bike or uh, recumbent bikes or e-bikes or something outside the RV. This is an RV that might work for your family right now, but as your needs change and maybe the kids grow up and move on, like if you've got teenagers, this could be an awesome option right now that you don't need to reinvest in and get a different camper later on. It's one RV that can serve multiple different purposes. Also, if you flat out don't like the bunks in the back, they make a version of that too. But what are we looking at here? We've got hot cold camp ratings, a warranty with allowances for full-time RVing, which is very rare in travel trailers, factory standard solar on a walkable roof with a ladder, hot, I already said, did I? Zero to 110 degree rated. If I didn't, I don't know. Uh, anyway, this also has something I fail to talk about way too often. It's called hyper deck flooring. You hear a lot about Asdell RVs using composite paneling in the walls, but they're very often still using wood paneling in the floor. Ironically, Cougar is the opposite. They use composite stuff in the floor, but they still use uh, wood paneling in the sidewalls. So I don't know, whichever one works for you. We got a little something of everything here at Bish's RV for you. But uh, previously we only saw the prototype and for the most part, it's a pretty good match for this. There are a couple little, you know, refinements and touch-ups and I'd love to hear what you guys think about this one, as well as what additional little adjustments could they make to to improve it moving forward and if you appreciate the fair way we go about things telling you the good with the bad as we go make sure you hit that subscribe button let's get started all right how am i getting out of this thing here now oh, 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 God. <laughs> yeah, i do my own stunts Josh the RV Nerd here at Vicious RV with what might be, I think, maybe the best of the Apex Bunkhouse models, uh, pound for pound, which I think is saying a lot. But when I say pound for pound, everything they packed into this at only 4,200 and 8,500 pounds dry weight with a slide, a true queen bed, double Asdell, solar heated belly, <laughs> and tandem axles for easy, reliable towing. This thing is a monster! It is absolutely fantastic. And it's one of the like the models that people overlook so easily. But if you talk to people who actually own these, so many people are like, man, I got a 208. Uh, I, I absolutely love it. Like I've made some of what I think are some of the best bunkhouse lists out there. And I actually got a lot of flack from people saying, why isn't there a 208 bunk, uh, Apex on there? Because it's that good. Um, one of the interesting things on this one is it's narrow body, but it doesn't look it, it doesn't feel it. It looks and feels as big as any eight foot wide standard body camper, but it, it's smaller, it's easier towing. And again, at less than 4,300 pounds, it opens up doors uh, to, to so many lighter duty vehicles that a big traditional bunkhouse just couldn't handle. Yet it still brings a lot of big features. The slide adds the space. Again, it, it does have a true queen bed, albeit a bendy bed, which is not necessarily my favorite, but the way Apex did it, they did something almost nobody else does. When you're during the day with a windshield, most Murphy beds cover the windshield and it's stupid and you lose it. Not with an Apex, whether the bed is up or down as it were, it doesn't matter. You still get to use that front windshield or you can use the privacy shader or stuff a pillow up there, block it off. I don't know. Um, whatever works for you guys. But it is, oh man, it has fantastic travel access to little mini camp kitchen. This, it's 10 pounds of camper in a five pound sack, man. Now, I saw a lot of RVs this year and to try to distill it down into a single list like this is very, very difficult. So I wanted to list out a couple quick honorable mentions, some other things that I saw that I think personally are really good bunk models for one reason or another. But you may have noticed as we've gone through this, like sometimes some of these RVs are just simple, basic, they're just pure function, they're really smarter class family camping. Some of them are big and flashy and fancy and just have these awesome expansive living rooms, you know, space where you got room for a lot of kids, a lot of dogs, a little bit of everything in between. Uh, my number one personal pick here, it, it came in like a Miley Cyrus wrecking ball and it flat leveled me because I think that what we're about to see may be like a sign of the future of camping. I, I think that this company is building an RV from the year 3022 and it is an RV, it could be anything. It could do just about anything. It's the most flexible thing I've ever seen and I can't wait for you to see it. Are you tired of seeing all these different manufacturers make the same things just with a different coat of paint? <laughs> Stay tuned, there is nothing like this, but there will be. Three, two, one, prepare for missile launch. <laughs> My phone's FBI agent is like, missile launch? Bro, you can't say that stuff when I'm listening. 
Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd from Vicious RV with a special sneak peek opportunity down here at Ember's production facilities today. Taking a look at a brand new, unlike anything I've ever seen kind of model. This is what they're calling the 191 MSL. This right here is the missile. Now that is Mr. Aaron and you might be wondering, what is he doing over here? Well, I asked questions and you gave answers. I said, what if they didn't have bunks? What if they didn't have a camp kitchen in the 191 MDB bunkhouse? And this is what they came up with here. This is easily the biggest flex I've ever seen on a campground and I could not wait to see what you guys think about this right here. And I got so excited about this, I forgot that I like to record a quick floor plan in a flash flyby footage segment here while I go through and talk about this. So if you've never seen one of these, this is a sister to a uh, uh, more traditional bunkhouse model called the 191 MDB, where it has double over double bunks in that rear corner and it has an outside camp kitchen down below it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the number one request I get constantly with bunkhouses is can I get it without the bunks, please? That'd be a neat little spot. What if you wanted a corner office? What if you wanted bunks? What if you wanted a walk-in closet? Um, this has what they're calling the Ember Track system. Uh, kind of a cute name for E-Track if you ask me, but hey, that's marketing, baby. That's how the game is played. You can convert this into like anything you want it to be. So this could be a family uh, camper. This could be a one bonus bed grandkid came maybe for one weekend a year kind of camper. This could be um, a, a, a solo or couples runaround model. It could be anything you want it to be, and it could be any of those at any time. That's what is so cool about this one. There's no one way, right, wrong, or otherwise, you have to use this. It is uh, a completely woodless structure. It's all aluminum, all composite. It's generational, basically, a true off-road trailing arm suspension with a, uh, a, a far more bulky, heavy-duty chassis than you normally find out there. Goodyear tires, trailing arm off-road suspension, uh, just a million awesome things that you don't find in the conventional market. So your feedback created this camper. And let's see what else your feedback can do. Let us know where they nailed it, where they failed it, where they can do better, and just what is above and beyond and, and what you love about this thing. But there's a whole world of things out here. So let me ask you, did your favorite model make the list? And if not, which one is it? Because again, it's not to say that these are the, the Josh has the, the knows the best five models that are out there. These are just five things that I happen to like. I see some various redeeming qualities of them, some more functional than others, some more glitzy than others. Um, you know, they're, they're just some different things that really jumped out at me, and I'd love to hear from you. Which one of these from this list was your favorite? And remember that I've got full videos of every one of these, including those honorable mentions listed down in the video description. So let me know your favorite one, and let me know what you'd like to see next. And I can't make a promise, but I'll do my best to fill in. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Have a good time. Mm -hmm.